Hey everyone, James Lynch here for Bodog, taking a look at Saturday's UFC 304 pay-per-view, which goes down in Manchester. And we're going to start first uh, in the featherweight division, Arnold Allen taking on Jigga Chikaze. And right now, Allen, the favorite at minus 250. I like Allen here. Um, I think this is a very good fight for him. I know he's on a bit of a losing streak, but you look at who he's losing to. Mavsari Voyev, Max Holloway. These are top guys in the weight classes, and I don't think Chikaze's in that same category. Not to mention he's older. Not to mention he's coming off some injuries in a layoff. I think Allen neutralizes the stand-up of Chikaze and ends up taking a decision. So I like Allen here at minus 250. I like him even better by decision. So look for that prop as well. Next fight, we got Chris Leroy Duncan, Gregory Rodriguez. A bit of a tricky one. Both guys got knockout power and, and can definitely finish. I'm going to give the slight edge to Duncan in this one just because he's a little bit younger, a little bit more potential, I think, with Rodriguez. We've seen him finish too many times. Not enough for me to pick him here. Next fight, Bobby Green, Patty Pimblett. Bobby Green actually changing his name to King Green. So keep that in mind. Uh, but Green's the favorite. I agree with the odds here. I think this is too much of a step up for Patty Pimblett. I'm also going to be looking for that Bobby Green uh, by knockout prop. I think that might be worth a stab. Patty does get hit a lot. The only thing I worry about is if this fight goes the distance. So because uh, because I could see the crowd being on, um, you know, obviously influencing the judges on Pimblet side. We saw that in the Jared Gordon fight. So what I would recommend is maybe looking for a Bobby Green knockout prop because I think if Green wins, it will be by knockout. I think with Pimblet, look for that decision prop and maybe hedge, hedge a bet there because I could see that scenario playing out. But either way, I think Bobby Green does take care of business in this fight. Co-main event, Tom Aspinall, Curtis Blades for the interim heavyweight title Aspinall the current interim champ uh, I think Aspinall gets it done he's got five rounds to knock out Curtis Blades I think that happens Blades has got some great wrestling but Aspinall's got that death touch uh, look for Aspinall by KO TKO I think that that's the path to victory if you look at Blades' losses all by knockout in the UFC and in the main event Leon Edwards Blah Muhammad I think Bilal Edges has won out slightly I've been more impressed with the improvements in his last couple of fights um, so yeah I'd look at that but the prop I like here is the fight goes the distance I do not think we'll see a finish in the main event